My expectations going into this project were that it would go south very, very quickly. Because, I mean, the whole idea of, of this project is that it's not just the journalist going out and finding the story. It's us going to someone who's, this is their lived experience and going, this is your story. This is what you want to talk about. Let us help you tell it. I was more nervous than expecting anything from it. Because that means like working with people you don't know anything about. I was nervous. I was scared. Very, very scared. I'd obviously have my own, had my own preconceptions about like the township and whatever. And then after actually going there, you realize that people make it out to be something worse than it is. I thought that I, in front of the camera, I would be afraid. But no, not afraid. In the beginning, I didn't see it as that big. And then when we actually got to the school and we actually experienced the issues for ourselves, you actually realize what a crazily unsafe situation that they're in. I actually felt excited because I knew that I would be popular. And we're driving along like deep in the, in the township, like extension 10. And I see these like donkeys out the corner of my eye. I'm like, I want those donkeys. We, we saw a donkey, but then when we wanted to take a shot of it, it ran away from us. I learned a lot about the camera. When you're doing a video, you should focus on the eyes. My favorite part, it was when I went to the park and I played there. There seemed to be a bit of miscommunication between um, our lecturers, Upstart and Mary Waters. So there was an occasion, actually, I think it was two occasions where we went there and we were told we couldn't film. So she was like, very shy at first, but eventually, the second week even, it was a big <laughs> difference because she just needed time to warm up. I actually had like an incident when I was like filming him and his phone rang and he actually told me to stop filming. <laughs> and I'm like, are you serious right now? One of the biggest challenges for me, um, I found, being a sort of white man and trying to work around my own privilege. You go into someone's home and you go into like a different cultural environment as well. Um, it's a complete shock for you. It's this whole division that we have between Rhodes University and um, the township in a way. This project has the amazing capacity to maybe change these people's lives, to actually do something really worthwhile for them, and that's a lot of pressure. Um, well, I didn't like the way it turned out. I won't lie here. I thought that Julia took control. I was the CEO of this whole thing. She actually did what I told, I told her she must do. I feel that we did everything together. I was free. I wasn't afraid to talk. Well, I spoke to the principal. She told me, assured me that there'd be people standing by the bathrooms and making sure that nothing happens in there. And as soon as I left her office, five boys walked into the girls' bathroom. There's now a change. We're eating in classes and there's also breakfast in the morning. So it helped us a lot. I do think that mine and Setu's video is going to have some impact. Coming from a psychological perspective, it's very important to talk about trauma and not bottle it up inside. I think just the fact that she got to tell her story like in a way that she wanted to tell it, 